fish or any other creatures swimming around here. Aye. Where'd all the little fishies go? Mm. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean. But there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up the octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashie. Didn't see you there behind me. <laughs> <gasps> a vast mateys! Over here! What is it, Quasi? Look! <gasps> <laughs> Professor Inkling! Do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, <laughs> not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. Oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on, this way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? Hold on, Shellington. I can check my books. To the library! Yep, look at this. There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! The octopod is taking off without us. We've got to catch the octopod. Octonauts, to the gups. Octonauts, We've got to get back on board the octopod. Yuck! More algae. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to octopod. Gup A to octopod. Come in, octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Got A to Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the professor, then who's steering the octopod? <gasps> ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. <laughs> lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Well done! Whoa! Whoa! We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Hey, so, you drive. Me? Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Oh, <gasps> 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 
That was a close one. Thanks, Captain. Come on. We've got to get to the Octo Hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. All about algae. Everything about algae. Everything else about algae. Ah. She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes it takes some polar bear strength. Combined with some cat like quickness. Ha! To get the job done. Hey, follow me. Quasi, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Shiver, whiskers, the octopod was taken by these crusty little fellas? Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> <laughs> We give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <laughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod. Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish. So all that algae was making you ill. But where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm. I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes. That's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Cap, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. I've got it! It's right in this book. The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Octonaut, let's clean up this water. Right away. I'm on it, Cap. Welcome home. We've cleaned up the extra algae and fixed the leaky pipe that caused the algae to grow too much. Mmm, just right. Yeah, much better. Thanks, Octonauts. Sorry for taking your ship. Now you won't have to leave your home ever again. Or run away with your octopod. <laughs> <laughs> Another shell for our research, Captain. Let's measure it. Here's the biggest one yet, Shellington. Look, there's a little sea star stuck to this one. Oh, yeah! Don't be frightened, little sea star. We're the Octonauts. Who are you? My name is Twinkle. How interesting. 
You don't look like the other sea stars in this rock pool. Your arms are longer and you're a different colour. Well, actually, I don't live here. I kind of, I sort of got lost. Oh. Then let's help you get found. To the octopod. All I remember is I was crawling and then a big underwater wave picked me up and it dropped me on that beach. Maybe if we knew what kind of sea star you are, we could work out where you come from. The problem is, there are nearly 2,000 kinds of sea star, and they live in every part of the ocean, from the top to the very bottom. So how will we find her home? We'll have to look in a lot of places, Peso, and some of them could be dangerous, me hearties. Very dangerous. I miss my family. And they must be so worried about me. I want to go home. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise we'll get you back home. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to search the ocean top to bottom for Twinkle's home. Quasi, Peso, into the guppe. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Aye, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home. And I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy, there be one. Wow. That's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me, me, I'm the sea star. Of course you are. Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was... Ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> Nothing here but my hat. <sighs> you. Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight, down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars. A vast, mateys. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me, I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Mm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't think you're from round here. <sighs> Maybe I'll never find my way home. Don't give up, Twinkle. I've got a feeling we're getting really close to something. 
everyone he's gone let's oh look at twinkle what i she's glowing doesn't everybody glow in the dark <laughs> no but most sea creatures who glow in the dark live in the deepest darkest part of the ocean the midnight zone it's safe back to the cup octonauts next stop the midnight zone the Midnight Zone is completely dark. Many of the creatures who live here make their own light, just like Twinkle. Hey, this is starting to look familiar. Let me see. No, <laughs> Twinkle, don't touch that. Yeah. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't supposed to happen, right? There you go. Thank you. Where are we, Captain? Looks like we've landed at the bottom of a very deep hole in the midnight zone. Wow, it's really dark outside. <gasps> the lights are broken. And inside, too. <sighs> the engine's working, but we're not moving. The gut must be wedged in. Well then, we'll have to go out and unwedge it. Octonauts, let's put on our special deep sea suits. But it's blacker than a pirate's teeth out there. Will we have enough light to see what we're doing? Hmm. I can help with that. A little more towards this side, please, Twinkle. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, ready, Octonauts? Now, push! <laughs> Hey! Yeah! Well done, me hotties! The gup is free, but this hole is full of twists and turns. Aye, we'll need more than the light from one little sea star to get out of here and find Twinkle's family. Flappity blippers! Well, I'll be. They look like stars. They are sea stars. Twinkle, is that you? Daddy! Mummy! Granddad! Where have you been? We were so worried. Thank goodness you're home. Everyone, these are the Octonauts. They helped me find my way home. That's right. We searched the whole ocean from top to bottom. Now, if only we could find our way home. Maybe our new friends can help us. Daddy, Mummy, we need to get everybody together. The whole family and all our friends. Right you are, Twinkle. Ready for liftoff, Octonauts? Aye, 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 Captain. Then let's go. We're heading home. And here's a picture of my little brother Pinto. Lovely. Aye. And here's one of my big brother Pogo. Ah, you look just like him. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Here's me again. Oh, nice picture, Peso. Good one, matey. And here's me, Pinto, Pogo, Piñata, Grandma Perdita, Uncle Pepe, Aunt Pepita, Cousin Pitina. Yeah! There's so many of them! How do you keep track of all those relatives? Easily. I love having a big family. 
We all look out for each other. Captain, it's Dashi. You better come to HQ as fast as you can. There's something you need to see. We're on our way. There's a big volcano nearby. And it looks like it's about to erupt. A volcano? But we're in the middle of the ocean. There are volcanoes even on the ocean floor, Peso. See, we're over here in the octopod, and deep down over here is the volcano. Right now, incredibly hot lava and steam are building up underneath. Soon, it'll erupt. And all that hot lava will come bursting up and out into the water. Wow, that looks dangerous. It is dangerous, but the volcano is so deep down, we should be safe up here. I'm worried about all the animals who live around the volcano. Aye, Captain. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get all the creatures away from the volcano as fast as we can. Dashi, Shellington, keep us informed of the volcano's activity. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Quasi, Peso, into the gup. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Got it, Cap. We should see the volcano any second now. Keep your eyes peeled. There it is. Oh. <sighs> Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, the volcano is getting hotter and the lava is rising. I'm afraid there's not much time before it erupts. Understood, Shellington. We need to get all the creatures out of here fast. Attention, everyone. This is Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. You must all leave here right away. The volcano is about to erupt. Erupt? <coughs> Can't go any faster. Oh no, that sea urchin can't move very fast. Don't worry, we'll help anyone who's having trouble getting away. Put on your deep sea suits. Quasi. You take care of the spiky creatures. This grabber could come in handy. Uh, aye! Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. And I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Yow! Ready! Ahoy there, urchin! Let's get you to safety! Oh, thanks! Aha! There's a slimy one. And it looks like it could use my help. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Don't worry, if you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. Whoa! Ah, another slimy creature that might need our help. Excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Mm. 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 Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. 
Bob the Blobfish. But you can call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just my tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three bob -cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, I mean problem. <laughs> Tentacle, it hurts. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Let's get this off first. You need a bandage. There, good as new. Thanks. Lean on me, matey. Now let's get you out of here. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, time is running out. The volcano will erupt in the next five minutes. Got it, Shellington. Let's do one last check and make sure everyone's out. Meet back at the Gup A in three minutes. Yes, Captain. Captain Barnacles to Quasi. Is everyone out of your area? Hi, Captain. All clear. Whoa! Get back to the gup as fast as you can. Peso, is your area clear? Yes, Captain. Oh, no. They're still here. It's Bob, Bob and Bob. Captain, there are three blobfish right over the volcano. We're on our way, Peso. Come on, Quasi. Oh, I'm coming for you, Bob and Bob. But you're so far away. Bob! Peso! We have to get you and your brothers out of here. Oh, I thought I could do it by myself, but the truth is, I have no muscles. I'm all jiggly like a jelly. I can barely move. Don't worry. We're here to help. Shellington to Captain. You should get out of there now. We're on our way. Peso, you take Bob. Quasi, you take Bob. Oh, but, but what about Bob? Bob's with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, tickle, tickle. Here, that tickles. Let's go. Good work, Octonauts. Yes, sir, Bob and Bob. It's a good thing the Octonauts got us out of there. I sure am glad to see you both. I would visit more often, but it's just so hard for us blobfish to travel. But look at us now! We're all on holiday together. Hey, thanks, Peso. No blobblin. <laughs> 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 Octopod to Shellington. How's the eel watching coming along? Uh, it's a bit tricky, Captain. These garden eels are rather shy. They keep hiding in the sand. Good thing I've got all night to study them. Are you sure you'll be OK spending the night out there in the Gup E? Oh, of course. I've got enough kelp cakes and clam sandwiches to last me till morning. Well, good luck tonight. We'll check back in the morning. Octopod signing off. 
Captain, are you sure he'll be okay all alone out there? He'll be safe inside the guppy, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet night. Nothing out there except one little jellyfish. What could go wrong? Let's power down for the night. on me. Look at all those jellyfish. Shellington is still out there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. <coughs> Octonaut, to the HQ. <coughs> Good morning, Octonauts. I'm sure you've noticed something strange happening outside. Professor Inkling, what's going on out there? It seems there was a jellyfish bloom overnight, Peso. Jellyfish bloom? When jellyfish find a place they like, where there's lots of food to eat and nothing around that eats them, lots of jellyfish will go to that place at the same time. It's called a bloom. Barnacles to Shellington. I think you'd better drive the Gup E back to the octopod. You'll be safer here. Well, I would drive back, but uh, I fell asleep with the lights on and... Now the Gup's batteries are nearly dead. See? Why don't you just swim home? Uh, that wouldn't be a very good idea, Quasi. These are sea nettle jellyfish. Their tentacles will sting you if you touch them. Stay where you are, Shellington. We're coming to get you. Quasi, Peso, into the Gup A. <laughs> Never seen anything like this. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Let's move slowly. We don't want to hurt any of these jellyfish. Hmm, they're too thick to drive through. They're clogging the intakes, Captain. Right, we need to get back to the octopod and make a new plan. Activate helmets, everybody. Prepare to eject. We'll have to swim back to the octopod. Yeah! Watch out for the tentacles! Go! Oh, no you don't. Ouch! It's a jellyfish sting, all right. How does it feel? It stings. Don't worry, Captain. I know just the thing for it. Thanks, Tunip. I knew you'd have some in the kitchen. This is the best emergency treatment there is for a jellyfish sting. It smells like vinegar. It is vinegar. It should help with the stinging. Ow. How does your paw feel now? It feels better. Ugh, it smells worse. Thanks, Peso. Now, I've got to get back out there and rescue Shellington. Ah, oh, ow. Captain, you need to stay right here and rest until your paw is completely healed. Don't worry, Captain. We'll rescue Shellington. We? But we'll have to suit up first. Come on, Peso. Are you sure this is a good idea? Relax, Peso. Our deep sea suits will protect us from their stinks. We'll find Shellington, give him this extra suit, and then we'll all go home sting-free. See? I didn't feel a thing. Yeah! Hey, so, how's it going out there? Uh, a bit rockier than we'd expected. We can't see a thing out here. Don't worry. Dashie will help guide you to Shellington. Just keep going forward until you get to the sandy sea floor. Thanks, Dashie. How are you holding up out there, Shellington? Uh, well, 
Well, it is starting to get a bit stuffy in here, and I'm all out of kelp cakes. Sit tight, Shellington. Quasi and Peso are on their way. It feels like we've been walking for hours. Keep going, guys. You're almost there. But we still don't see anything except jellyfish. Shellington should be down on the sandy sea floor, right at the bottom of this rocky Whoa. cliff. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, guys. <laughs> The sandy sea floor. Shellington must be close by. He could be right in front of our faces and we wouldn't be able to see him. Huh? Now, don't go wandering off, Peso. I may never find you again. It's one of Shellington's garden eels. We must be really close. There's another one. There. <laughs> Fascinating. The garden eels are even faster than you are, Quasi. Shellington, are you all right? Well, my leg keeps falling asleep, but I think I'll be okay. Come on, we've got to get back to the octopod. Put this on and let's go. Quasi, Peso, how's it going out there? Well, we found Shellington and we followed some garden eels up this cliff, but then we lost... Quasi! <laughs> gotcha! Mayday, Captain! My tail's tangled in tentacles! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! Mm. Oh! <sighs> I never should have let Shellington stay out to study those garden eels. Ah, garden eels. That's it. If I can't get through the jellyfish, I'll go under them, just like the garden eels. Professor Inkling, does anything live in the rocky cliff beneath the octopod? Interesting question. As far as I know, nothing lives down there. So I wouldn't be harming any creatures if I made a tunnel through it. Not at all. There's only solid rock there. But what about your paw? Don't worry about me, Professor. Tweak? Hey, Cap. Prepare the gup D. I'm going to need some extra tunneling power. You got it, Cap. Just hold on. A garden eel living in a rocky cliff? It can't be. That's no garden eel. That's Captain, Captain Barnacles. Barnacles. Good to see you again, Shellington. Come on, we've got to hurry back to the octopod before this tunnel starts to fill up with jellyfish. Tweak, close the octa hatch. Looks like your paw has healed up nicely, Captain. You know, the jellyfish are actually kind of pretty. Aye, but not when you're tangled in their tentacles. Look at the size of that one. It's good to have you back, Shellington. Oh, thanks, Captain. <laughs> Ooh, is that vinegar I can smell? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We are the lava tubes. Great, let's get started. Uh, I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington, 
We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. Oh, this one's very, very hot. Fascinating. I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Huh? Uh, ooh. The name's Frank. What's yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh! <gasps> But how? Aha! Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My Uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sleep bags. Frank! The lava tube. Huh? What? Yeah. Time to sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, a teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh. Lost it. Oh, no. <gasps> it's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. These proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat. And the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was going to collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, was he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> These octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Hey, so, buddy! Over here! Frank, are you all right? 
We're here to bring you. We'll rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And Laverne. Hello. And, and that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> oh. But don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashy. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Hotter the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Ah. Run for your lives! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence. Travel oh, oh, Nice day out. Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yeah. Lava. We have to hurry. <laughs> this would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, Hazel. Hey, my Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? <laughs> yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never yeah, better. Break me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks? We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. Your turn. I can see the other side. One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <clears throat> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! Flappity flippers! Peso, hurry! Uh, are we going for a ride? Gotcha, Maisie! Let's go! Octonauts, keep going! Made it. Hooray! Ah. Oh, that was a close one. <sighs> hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso? Way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure is. You're me. even tougher than my Uncle Gary. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. And somebody. Uh-oh. Captain, rocks and rough waters ahead. Dashy, activate steering wheel. <laughs> Captain. Thanks, Dashie. Should be smooth sailing ahead. 
Well, at least until we hit the Roaring Forties. The Roaring Forties? The Roaring Forties are a part of the ocean with very rough water and powerful waves. Ooh. Nothing to worry about, Peso. I've piloted the octopod safely through these waters many times before. How did you learn to pilot the octopod so well, Captain? Practice. Lots of practice. And lots of late nights spent reading this manual. <laughs> How to pilot the octopod, third edition, written by Captain Barnacles. It covers everything I've learned about piloting the octopod. In fact, Peso, it might be a good idea for you to give it a read. Me? But I'm a medic. Well, you never know when we might need a backup pilot. Ooh. All right, I'll read it. I'm not sure I'll understand any of it, but I'll try. Ah, all clean, me hearty. Huh? Well, now. This shell would make a fine addition to me collection. Who are you calling a shell? Uh, I'm a cold snail, see? Uh, nobody puts me in a collection, see? Sorry, little fella. I, I just... Uh, ah! Yeah! <laughs> I feel... I feel kind of funny. Uh... What's going on out here? <gasps> oh, me, oh, my. Come in, Peso. There's something wrong with Quasi. Don't worry, Quasi. You're going to be all right. What could have caused this, Peso? I'm not sure. It's almost like he's been poisoned. But by what? It stung me. What stung you, Quasi? No, Quasi didn't sting me. I'm Quasi. Tunip was there when it happened, Cap. Tell him what you saw. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes, little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, no, nobody captures me, see? Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? No. <laughs> oh, no. Inkling, Dashy and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo shoots. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as... <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh. Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. <laughs> How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. <laughs> hmm. He must be in the vents. Right. I'm going after him. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, what 
watch it. What's the big idea? Captain, you did it. Oh no, you were stung. Just rest easy, Captain. Everything will be... Oh dear. What's happening? Uh, ships entering the Roaring Forties. Very rough water. Need to get through. No, Captain. You're uh, too weak. Uh, uh, yes. Somebody has to pilot the ship. And that person is you, Peso. Me? <laughs> Peso, use the manual. You can do this. But, but, Captain... You've learned 317 ways to bandage an injured fin. You've performed crabectomies in the frozen Arctic. Oh. Those are medic skills, and I've done those things lots of times. But there was a first time. We're all counting on you. I... I... I have to try. Tunip, keep an eye on my patience. <laughs> Activate steering wheel and turn on the octo lift. Whoa! Captain, I made it to the steering wheel. Uh oh, big rock. What do I do? It says don't steer, but I have to steer around the rock or we crash. Keep one hand on the wheel, use the other to engage the rudder. You can do this, Peso. Engage! Rudder! Whoa! Maybe I can do this! Whoa! I can't do this! What do I do? Rocks and rough waters? It's not in here. What do I do? You do the one thing that isn't in the manual. Trust yourself. Trust myself? But I'm a medic. I don't pilot ships. I take care of people. Hold on. I am taking care of people. Everybody on board the Octopod is counting on me. I can do this! On ship, Peso's in danger. Uh, must hold on. Uh, uh, flippers. Uh, we're out of the roaring forties. I did it. Now to switch the ship back to autopilot. To check on my patience. Ah! Peso, look out! Cone snail! Huh? Peso! I'm, I'm all right! Wow, the ship's manual really did come in handy in more ways than one. Sorry for all the trouble. I, I was scared, see, and I was only trying to protect myself, see? No hard feelings, eh? No, just a bit of a sore paw. Tweak, open the octo hatch so our cone snail friend can go free. Sure thing, Cap. See you later, see? Bye bye. 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 Hey, hey. Whee! Peso, I was very proud of you today. You saved the ship. I'm just glad everyone's feeling better. Uh, you might want to tell that to them vegetables, matey. I must not be feeling. I'm fine. I believe it. Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. 
A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <coughs> <coughs> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> hey, my spike is starting to feel bitter. Thanks, Peso. Off you go, then, Puffy. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. <laughs> oh! There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a um, whale shark. Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours. Yeah! Oh, no. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi, you swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. <laughs> I'm coming oh. for you, puppy! Yeah. Oh. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Kevin. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the gills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue and go! <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. <laughs> then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Hello, 
Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! <laughs> oh. Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy. We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 